Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about a trending, a viral discussion that is going on and that is street justice meets three members of the Cabo Six. If you guys remember Shanquilla Robinson, that case is basic as basically open and shut. The um, DA's office, the FBI, they're all saying that they don't have enough um, evidence to prosecute the Cabo Six. Now, I want to give a shout out to Blockchain for sending me this article. Now, it's really interesting to see that after everything that happened with Shanquella Robinson, knowing that this lady um, died while on vacation with, you know, some wolves in sheep clothing you're in a club trying to confront someone asking them if they're video recording you as a matter of fact who told you to go outside much less feeling so bold and powerful to be confronting people knowing that a lot of people are not healed a lot of people are still hurting a lot of people are angry and bitter because it's not as though this girl shanquella just mysteriously died there's a video going around showing this girl getting beat up by these wolves and you're acting, you know, you're still acting like a bully out there. And not everyone is going to take that shit, you know, because guess what? Irrespective of the fact that we may say a lot of stuff about, you know, a lot of negative stuff about the black community, there is a sense of pride among us when it comes to many of us. And that pride is... It doesn't matter who you are, we don't believe in someone getting away with something that is wrong. We believe in being our brother's keeper and our sister's keeper, even though that sister is no longer among us. People are still going to want justice. And I believe that, you know, when you're acting out of character, people will be even more determined to go to that limit to ensure that they get justice now please know that i'm not saying that i support violence i'm just saying that you know some things are wrong you cannot be already being highly discriminated against for someone losing their life you were a part of that circle and you're going out asking people what are you doing are you taking a video of me like that is so wrong that is very much triggering so Let's talk about what is being reported. And this report is coming from the NC Beat. They're saying, word on the curb. Three fools who thought it was safe for them to walk the streets of Carolina after what they did to the world's best friend, Shinquella Robinson. And that is on point because at this point, you know, even though Shinquella is no longer with us, she's many of, for us, she's our daughter our niece, our granddaughter, you know. So many people have adopted this girl in death because that's how she was really introduced to us. Many of us, were still in our feelings. We feel connected to her through her story, her friend's tears, her family tears. So like, how dare you? But let's continue. They're saying that, um, you know, these girls felt it safe to walk the streets of Carolina after what they did to the world's best friend, Shanquella Robinson. These girls were spotted outside at Electric Tequila in Greensboro, North Carolina, Wednesday night and got hands put on them. We knew it wouldn't be long before Elise Hyatt, Winter Donovan, Dejane Jackson got scratched up. And from what the streets say, it's just the beginning. Honestly, I do believe that it's the beginning. And I believe that once, you know, you start behaving a certain way, you start behaving wrong and strong, that is going to be an offense to a lot of people. And I do believe that, you know, it shouldn't have to be this case in order for people to get justice. I don't believe that anyone should resort to violence in order for due justice to be served. But let's continue to talk about this. They're saying that at first, the North Carolina beat struggled with this video as far as releasing it. But after um, 
We watched and watched and watched and watched. We were able to make out at least two members of the Cabo Six in the video getting whooped. Not only that, but people who were there and witnessed it told North Carolina Beat that Hyatt, Donovan, and Jackson were the ones in the video getting beaten on from amazing, amazing grace to a floating opportunity. That is really interesting, but I'm not going to share the video on here, guy, I, guys. I will, like, include the photos. Now, they're saying that they have initially reported that the lady in this white outfit with leaves on it was Winter Donovan. And it is not. The person is Joya Elise, the friend of Dejanel Winter and Elise. So, they had some errors in their initial report which they are now you know trying to make clear this is really really interesting now they're saying that according to a source involved in the fight she and her friend were outside electric tequila wednesday night when a woman they recognized as dejanay jackson asked if one of her friends was recording her she was wrong for doing that because you know that you're already questionable. You're already public enemy. If you realize that someone might be videoing you, it is best to walk away. Just walk away. Because any of you guys were out in the public, once someone can recognize you, they're going to video you. And if you rebel, complain, confront, they're going to want to fight you because a lot of people are still angry. So do not throw gasoline on already blazing fire and this is what she did when she asked the friend if she was recording her so the woman um, said she told Hyatt no after Hyatt walked away the woman said her friend asked her who was that and she told her it was the girl who did that ish to Shanquilla the woman after the woman said after the bar closed the members of the Cabo Six kept kept saying ish so she and others went to their asses rightfully so i definitely believe rightfully so you just don't talk ish when people are angry you never pour gasoline on already blazing fire no this is really um unfortunate because if you remember it was just on april 12th that the FBI in Charlotte concluded that no charge will be filed against um, the Cabo Six in Shanquilla's death. And the lawyer, the family lawyer, said that they're going to keep fighting the case. But in the meantime, it's natural for people to feel angry and to consistently feel this range because there are so many people out here who have lost their loved ones under similar circumstances. So I would say to this Cabo Six, you know, we don't like people taking justice in their own hands. But at the same time, you cannot be walking around pouring gasoline on fire. People are hurt. And you have to realize and recognize that Shanquella is known to be a loving, kind human being. And um, she lost her life while on vacation with you guys. No one likes that. No one likes you people. And that's just the reality of it. So, you know, was that beat done warranted? If this report, if what this report is saying is factual, I definitely believe so because you just don't do stuff like that. It's as though you're rubbing salt into someone's wounds. You want them to feel the pain. You're laughing in their face, you know, practically behaving wrong and strong. And we know that street justice has always been a, been a thing, whether it may be black or white community. You just don't do certain type of ish and be out there acting as though you're right. You don't do those things, right? Because the question remains that why is it that this girl lost her life while she was amongst you and your other friends? People will never be okay with that until the legal system have you all behind bars. 
and that's just as i see it but guys this is just all i want to share in this video with you guys let me know what your thoughts are do you think that this street justice was you because of their behavior or do you think not i want to hear from you while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and see you all next time bye guys